Every day the same. Four hours in the office, an hour here in the park, three and a half hours in the office, home, cook a meal, wash them socks, eat a meal, prefer the socks, I think, wash up, bed. Bring breakfast, the whole thing starts all over again. Uh, what to do? I'll feed the pigeons and shut up. Pigeons don't have problems. They grow fat on my lunch. <laughs> so fat they can hardly fly. Another landing like that, mate, and you can turn your wings in. You should be on starchless crumbs. Can't even walk straight. <laughs> ah, nice here in the park, though. Eloquent word, nice. Means nothing. Means warm sun, cool breeze. Always a cool breeze here. Now, why is that? Must be the girls. Girls? Yes, cool, efficient, over there and there. Bound to affect the climate. You're always on about girls. Who needs girls? Apart from you, me. Why don't you shut up? Well, that's no way to talk to yourself. I know, but shut up all the same. Can't you take a bit of friendly criticism? No. You know your trouble. Your trouble is girls. My trouble is you and me, and you're no friend. Want a suggestion? No. Sharpen your approach. Sharpen my what? Approach. You've got to be subtle. Subtle? Are you listening to me? I'm giving you advice. We've been over this same ground so many times before. Let's save all the digging. I can give you the answer now. You believe the problem is interior, in my attitude. I believe the problem is exterior, in the way I look. You say, think different. I say, it doesn't matter how much I rearrange the inside, the outside never changes. Well, admittedly, you are a bit long and thin, but not thin, lean. You taught me to think lean, remember? Lean. And six feet, three inches long. A lean giant. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Except I don't feel like a lean giant. I feel like a flagpole. Most people want to be tall. I'm not most people. I'm me. Yes, yes, that is our problem. <laughs> anyway, let's start again with your approach. Now, take that girl over there. How would you approach her? Well, she looks a nice girl. Nice style. The way she throws her crumbs. I don't know. You don't know what? How to approach her. What the average bloke would do is get up, walk across to a bench, sit down, and offer her a cigarette. Well, what if she doesn't smoke? Well, at least it'd be a topic of conversation. Couldn't I just sidle up to her and say, Hello. She might say, Hello back. What if she didn't? Well, I'd just sort of sidle off. What if she did? Well, I'd have to come out with something bright, wouldn't I? Like what? Nice weather? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, this is getting us nowhere. As usual. Now listen, shut up and think. Think of an opening gambit. Something to say. Now, use your imagination. Oh, that's easy. Well, get on with it. Good morning. What are you talking about? Why don't you shut up and let me use my imagination? Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. Be quiet. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 not you. I, I, do you mind if I sit down? Not at all. The bench is free. The air is free. You may even have one or two crumbs free. I brought my own. Enjoy yourself. Uh, pardon? I'm just leaving. Oh, oh really? Mm, yep. Got to get back to the office. The old treadmill. I work for a living. What do you do? Think. What? To think, think, think. I use my imagination. That's all I ever do. Oh, fine mess you're made of that. I need practice. All right. Try again. Good morning. After. Uh, not from the start. You did that bit. Well, starting's the hardest. It's all hard for you. For us. 
Well, all right, all right. I'm a chartered accountant. What are you? A girl. Obviously. Thank you. Do you come here often? Not very. No more than once a day to feed the pigeons. Fond of pigeons? No, but they're company. I hate to eat alone. <sighs> me too. Which reminds me. What are you doing this evening? Baking. Baking? Bread. What for? More crumbs. You... Well, I lost control a bit there at the end, but how was that? Want to try another practice run? I, I suppose so. I hate to eat alone myself, especially the stuff I cook. You cook? Uh, one or two things. And you? Mm. I need practice. Oh, so do I. So do I. Suppose you eat out a lot. Uh, no. What do you do, then? I don't eat. But why? Oh, if you eat alone, people look at you. Haven't you noticed? No. Next time you're by yourself with nobody across the table to chat to, look around. See how many people are watching you and wondering. What are they wondering? Well, I don't know. I've never had enough nerve to stop and ask. Perhaps they feel sorry for you. Perhaps they wonder where your friends are. Perhaps it's indigestion. Ugh, how romantic. Oh, you really know how to talk to girls. Oh, shut up. Are you going to ask her to dinner or not? No. <laughs> well, perhaps dinner was a little ambitious. Why not buy her a drink instead? But you know how alcohol affects me. One drink and I drop in my tracks. Well, that's what I want. Oblivion for a few short hours. Then there's the cost. One drink... Well, two if she's a drinker, perhaps more. If you ask her. What makes you think I won't? Because you haven't the faintest idea how to go about it. Faint? But faint? That's the idea. What? I could stagger over to her bench and faint. And? Well, she might be a nurse. She could fix me up. She might not be a nurse and you could break her leg. Yes. It's not such a good idea. I mean... She may not like men who faint at her feet. And it's a long way to fall. No, 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 I don't think that is a very good idea. No. Any other ideas? No. Well, I suppose I should be getting back to the office. You're running out of time. You've only got a few minutes left. I'll... I'll try something tomorrow. Tomorrow she may not be here. Tomorrow she could meet somebody else. Think tomorrow you could be lunching together, but only if you act now. Now is the time to do something. Now, not tomorrow, not the day after. Now, leave me alone. My friend, you are alone. That is your problem. No, I'm making too much of this. I'm building it up in my mind. And you're not helping. I'll be casual about the whole thing. Relax. Just stroll past a bench and cough. Fine. Off you go. Good, loud cough now. Right. Oh, she, she's looking this way. Oh, I wish I could imagine what she was thinking. Oh, I mean, I wish I was looking... a young man. So tall and lean. Why does he sit over there in the shade? Almost. Why doesn't he come over here and sit on my bench? There's plenty of room, plenty of pigeons... Should I ask him to join me? No. A girl can't make the first move. A girl is a girl is a girl. Damn. And a man so attractive. Would surely not be interested in poor little me. He's getting up. So tall. And leans to one side. Is there something the matter with him? Oh, he's straightening up. Must have been the breeze. But his complexion. So pale. And hark. A cough. <laughs> oh, no, she can't think like that. Nobody can. Except me. Well, you're on your feet now. Just start walking. I can't. Take a step, one step, come on. I can't try. I am trying. Concentrate, ready? Left foot, lift, forward, down. There. 
I'll never make it. Of course you will. Not far to go now. That's what I mean. Head up. Your feet are still attached. Just checking. Take my word for it. Your word? I should never believe a word you say. You talk me into this mess. What am I going to say when I get there? You'll think of something. I won't. My mind's a blank. You're slowing down. I can't help it. My limbs are going stiff. I feel as if I'm wearing a suit of armour. Keep going. Force yourself. I am. Every step. Relax. She's smiling. Smile back. She's laughing, saying to herself, Here comes the mechanical man. Smile back. I can't. All right. Bare your teeth, then. Oh, it must look like a snarl. She'll think I'm trying to frighten the pigeons. Pigeons? Pigeons? Where did all the pigeons go? What are we going to talk about? No pigeons. She'd run out of crumbs, that's all. Ask her if she'd like some crumbs. She's probably on a diet. For the pigeons, not for her. Ask her if she'd like to borrow a handful of crumbs. And if she says no, think up a retort. And if she says nothing, say something else. Look, I can say one or two things, but what happens then? It's not a conversation until I get a reply. Conversation is give and take, parry and thrust. Don't challenge her to a duel. Talk to her. What do I say? Just a few words will do. Too late. Slow down and speak up. Just one word will do. Hello. Oh, hello. Pigeons. Yes. Like pigeons? Sometimes. Oh. Well, when they're not too greedy. Yeah. This lot have eaten all my crumbs. Especially that one. He's too fat to fly. Mm. Has to walk from bench to bench. Would Do you, you like to... to... Would you like to borrow some of mine? Pardon? Crumbs. Thank you. Pay you back tomorrow. They're not very expensive. I insist. All right. All right. That would be very nice. <laughs> 